Hello everyone. Today, um, I want to show you how we can run acoustic simulations on the cloud. So I'm going to get started from the AVAS model that I already showed you. Let's go. Okay, so just as a reminder, this is the model we're talking about. So this is a model built to be able to compute transfer functions between different speaker locations for AVAS and different microphone locations. Um, we are going to run this simulation with the Actron software. And um, this model is a fairly medium-sized model. There are about 10,000 elements on this, uh, on this surface. And since I don't have access to my big computer right now, what we're going to do is that we're going to run it on the cloud. To do that, um, we are going to go to the Nexus Compute platform. Uh, Nexus is a open platform that is developed by Hexagon um, with a lot of things in it. I really encourage you to register uh, and to explore, uh, and I hope you will find a lot of interesting things uh, in this platform. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And um, here, as I'm log logged in, I will have access to all my different products. And in particular, I can have access to Nexus Compute. So Nexus Compute is a cloud platform that is hosted on Nexus and that will give anyone the ability to run their acoustic simulations, but also structural simulations you'll see later. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to create a document. Um, I'm going to name it Avas Simulation. I'm going to put it in my acoustic simulation projects and I'm going to go ahead and create this document. This document is a place where I can collaborate with colleagues. Um, we can share documents there. We can iterate over documents in this uh, cloud environment. And obviously, we'll be able to run some simulations. So let me upload the files that I have exported from my simulation. So I have my input file and my mesh. And I can now select all these files and create a new job. Now, uh, here I'm running an Actron model, so obviously it selects uh, Actron by default. But if you're running Mark, Nastron, SC Stream, SC Flow, Ditron, Simufact Welding simulations, you can also use this platform. Um, I can select if I want to um, have a limited runtime. Uh, in this case, I don't want. I want to make sure that the calculation goes up to the end. And I can choose the hardware that I want to use. So I have a a choice between a smaller to larger machine and even GPU machines. Um, here, I'm interested in having access to a lot of RAM memory, so I'm going to select here the largest uh, hardware available. And I can enter the command line in order to run the simulation. Um, as you can see, there are 64 cores in these machines. The way I want to use these 64 cores is to use eight parallel processes um, and eight uh, threads per parallel process. So that's the command line that I'm going to use. And once I'm here, I can just submit the job. The information will be sent to the server on the cloud. The calculation will be run. And once it's finished, I will be able to get my results. So obviously, I'm not going to wait for this simulation to end. This is a fairly large model. Uh, I've already done the simulation, uh, so I can show you how it looks like. So with the same settings that I've used, I was able to run this simulation over the complete frequency range, so from 140 hertz to the 5 kilohertz, one third octave band, calculating, I believe, 10 frequencies per octave band. And that took me a total of one hour to run. Uh, so obviously, um, if I didn't have access to this kind of resource calcul uh, for calculations, I would probably take um, a few more hours to run this case. But now I can, I can run it in, in about one hour. Um, if I'm coming back to um, just show you the calculation time, how it's um, spread across the different frequencies that we have calculated. Um, as you, here, I'm plotting the evolution of the calculation time for each frequency with respect to the frequency we're solving. And so what you're seeing is that as the frequency increases, the calculation time increases. And this is because we're using adaptive meshing in the model. So as the calculation frequency increases, and therefore the requirements in terms of the mesh size are evolving, we are um, refining the mesh. And as we're refining the mesh, we'll need more and more uh, time in order to solve uh, the problem. So for the low frequencies, it takes less than one minute to solve a frequency. For the high frequencies, it goes up to, to seven and eight minutes. 
So hopefully that gives you a, a quick introduction to how to run simulations uh, on the cloud. And for the next video, I'll show you how we can post-process these uh, transfer function results in order to see if we can pass AVAS certification. So until next time, bye-bye.